Imagine a train that's way down in the deep blue sea, with a view of marine life as you travel at high speeds to your destination. This is exactly what the UE have planned, and it's a pretty cool concept. The underwater train has been proposed as a new option for travelers to go between Dubai to the city of Mumbai in India. Seems like the UE is running high on technologies these days. News has it that the UE is planning to build a 2000 km long underwater rail that will connect Mumbai to Fujairah City in the UE Middle East. The news came to light during the UE India conclave organized in Abu Dhabi. The concept and plans are to connect Mumbai in India with Fujairah City via ultra-speed floating trains. With this project, the UE aims to boost bilateral trade with India. But it's not going to be quick. This is a 1-200 mile journey that can be used as public transport, but also as a carrier for water and oil, with the speed set to a staggering 601,000 kmh. Transporting water underwater, it can be done. The Dubai to Mumbai underwater train project was first mentioned in 2018 as a hypothetical idea but now it's quickly becoming a reality. But it'll cost an extraordinary amount of cash. As the United Arab Emirates National Advisor Bureau is working on a blueprint for the railway and for the type of train needed for such a journey, it has hopes to bridge the gap between the two cities and provide something innovative to the region. But are they trying to one-up Saudi Arabia after their smart city Neom unveiling? After all, the UE is widely known for their technology, construction, and infrastructure in the Middle East, but with the ginormous bio project creating a buzz around the world, it would take something pretty cool to top it. Saudi Arabia's mega city has hopes to create a horizontal tower city that connects the desert to the sea, becoming a biophilic oasis in an unlikely climate, all for a whopping one trillion investment. Well, an underwater train will certainly take the spotlight, especially if it's completed before the NEOM project has begun its work, as construction for the BioCity is already underway, with plans for completion by the end of 2030. UE needs to work fast. This is more or less a give-and-take project, wherein India will be getting oil from the UE and will export the excess fresh water from the Narmada River through pipelines to Middle East country. This move will also improve other export and import in future. That a feasibility study of cities and countries would be done before starting the project. Even though it's an amazing idea, it won't be the first underwater train as the Channel Tunnel. As of now, it is not only the UE that is working towards building an underwater rail network. For China is also planning an underwater connection with Russia, Canada, and the USA in near future. But the Dubai-Mumbai train would be different, as it would be a visual experience with see-through windows that allows passengers to view the sea in all of its glory, instead of brick tunnel walls. Obviously, we're taking the scenic route with Dubai, which is its ultimate unique selling point and may become a travel bucket list must-have when it eventually opens. Though, for those of us with a crippling fear of the deep sea, in your opinion, will this project succeed? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel in your opinion. Will this project succeed? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.